I'm Patrick Barone of the Barone Defense Firm, and I'm here with my office manager, Brian Corby, and we're about to test the new Datamaster DMT using a generic CVS Pharmacy cough drop. We want to see if this is going to cause an interference or a reading with the new Datamaster DMT. So the first thing we have to do is enter the password, which will prepare the machine to begin its test run sequence, which begins with a purging of the sample chamber. At this point, room air is being drawn through the mouthpiece and flushed through the sample chamber to make sure that there's no residual alcohol from any prior readings. After the purge, the sample chamber will be closed and a reading will be taken. That'll be a blank test and it will read three zero, zero point zero zero, which is the ambient zeroing, which is the step that's taking place now. After this step is complete, the internal standard will be checked, which is essentially a quartz lens, which is placed into the optical path to determine whether or not the machine is actually reading properly, which has now been verified, meaning that the machine is ready to accept a sample. Mr. Corby is now going to insert a mouthpiece into the breath tube and blow into the machine. Once the sample acceptance parameters have been met, which has now occurred, we can see that there is a small amount of alcohol being read, which is the black line. That may not actually make it to the final reading. We'll see once that is displayed. The sample chamber is purging again. And we have subject sample interference, which essentially means that the machine was detecting something in the sample chamber that did not meet the sample acceptance criteria. Probably when the two filters were compared, the criteria between the two filters was not met, which flagged the interference.